Girl, get your sister on, Gossip. Welcome back, whore. Whore, what are you doing? Welcome to the Sister Girl Gossip. And it's not just me on the nice microphone this time. Your sister, Chris, is here in person. It's weird. Limited time magic. Yeah. Probably for one, maybe two episodes if you're lucky. So hold out hope. Uh, pray. Pray to whatever god you believe in. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh my god, it just, just takes a turn. <laughs> Has it been a minute yet? <laughs> Write to Santa Claus. Um, let him know if you believe in magic. Because if you don't, he's not. Com- I don't know where this is going. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god it's the mimosa isn't it mm. yeah the mimosa is making you a little crazy i'm a lightweight so <laughs> yeah you had you had about a sip i had of, a sip and i like, ah! you had a ship of chardonnay and you're already like <laughs> <laughs> i've thrown up twice and i'm ready to rally <laughs> <laughs> well since chris you're here where we uh grew up i felt like today we could talk about um you know, how we grew up, our early childhood, if you will, our time in elementary, middle school, the time where we didn't really know each other. We didn't we, know we each were, other. We were Until living separate lives. Grade. So crazy stuff. You went through all this shit without me. Yeah, I, I wrote down a whole list of things I went through without Chris that he might not even know half of. I don't know if I've told him half of this. Probably not, because you're not that fun. <laughs> but that's okay. I keep a lot of things from people. Kind of a secretive person. You know how unfair that is? <laughs> you're over here, you're my best friend. Well, yeah. why? <laughs> you're my best friend. I tell you everything. Like, um, how I had a, a basketball that I adored, and we made wanted posters for it. <laughs> Are you going to tell that story? Because I want to know I it guess, now. I guess I can start with that one, since like it, I've already blurred it Let's out. Let's start in your like, earlier years, though. What about kindergarten? <laughs> Are you just, like, trying to, like, get that story out of me first? Yeah. Okay, well, so when I was in kindergarten, my mom actually uh, taught at the school that I went to. And I had her as a teacher in kindergarten and sixth grade. Oh, gross. I know. <laughs> Probably the two worst years to have your mom you as a... a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the two worst years to have your mom as a teacher. Like, one when you don't remember it, and one where, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's ninth or tenth grade, where it's like, she can, like, slide in, like, an A real, real quick. But... So true when you yeah. need yeah. it. <laughs> Desperately it's needed. like, mom, that SAT score like wasn't really what I wanted. She's like, I got this. <laughs> Let me pull some strings. <laughs> no, this was like, oh, mom, I colored outside the lines. Like, am I okay? She's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Way to go, freak. Like, like, you got a nice work instead of a great job. <laughs> <laughs> to the quarter. Yeah. <laughs> no you have to pull. You. you have to pull a yellow slip now. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> uh, so in kindergarten, my mom was the teacher, and I was. A late, so my birthday's in April, so I have like a birthday at the end of the year. So like when I went to kindergarten, I was only like four. Oh, you were small. I was, well, oh. no, I was just small. <laughs> I was just small. <laughs> <laughs> so at four, you know, you're still really dependent on your your parents just to do everything. I'm sure. And one of like my first memories was in kindergarten. I told my mom, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go <laughs> to go take a poop. And I guess like at that time, like I had, I was potty trained, but I didn't always like want to wipe my butt. So, <laughs> so I went to the bathroom, which was like, down a long hallway, probably somewhere like a kid, like a four year old should not be walking by themselves. But I went to the bathroom, I pooped, and then I was like, I'm not gonna wipe my ass. Like, I'm gonna go get my mom to wipe my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so he- here I am, this little four year old, like pants around my ankles, just shimmying down this long hallway, screaming, Mom! Mom! <laughs> mom, help! <laughs> And she like opens the door and looks down the hallway and then just like runs after me and like f- like football like grabs me and like runs me to the bathroom. <laughs> She's like, you can't do that. <laughs> oh my God. So who was watching the class when she was gone? No one. This was like before like security standards were like really in place. This- <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Like she was like, you need to wipe your butt. Like I can't do this for you here. And then she like left. And I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. So I've been a mess pretty much since the beginning. 
I was always perfect. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I would show up to work clean. The work, <laughs> work, yeah. School. Well, yeah. school is work. It is work. <laughs> I would end up going to school, you know, nice and clean. I was potty trained really early because I'm not an idiot, um, like some. Fair. And I just I remember one of the very first memories I have of kindergarten was um, we had this like school lockdown. <laughs> and this is literally the very first memory I have of school. So at Westwood Elementary, there were the prefabs. It was all prefabs, and the main school was the cafeteria and the kindergarten. Right. So we went to... No, we didn't go to recess. We went to lunch. And then all of a sudden, all the teachers are crying and freaking out. <laughs> They're crying. And we were told to go back to our classes. But most of the classes were in the prefabs. So a lot of the students stayed in the lunchroom, like the fourth and fifth <laughs> graders had to stay in lunch. And us kindergartners went back to our classes. And I think first grade was also able to go back to their class as well. And we were like in this soft lockdown. So it wasn't like, you know, lights off and hiding all that bull crap. But then all of a sudden I see my teacher get on the phone and she's like, <gasps> and I was like, huh? You know, as a kindergartner, you see yeah. a woman that you depend on <laughs> bawling her eyes out over the phone. So you're like, oh, uh, you know, like, you're right. upset yourself. And then over the intercom, had to have been like a, this is a lockdown, this lockdown hide or something like that. Because our teacher was like, get down, get down under the blankets because we had blankets because it was almost nap time. It was lunch. Right. <laughs> And I remember <laughs> distinctly, it was very dark for a very long time because we it, it, we just never cleared. And then all of a sudden, our teacher picks us up out of the blankets, <laughs> gets us in a line, and she was like, we're going to hurry to one of the buses. <laughs> and every single kid in that school got on a bus and they shipped us over to uh, what used to be North Intermediate High, which is now the alternative school. Oh, no. <laughs> and all of us at Westwood Elementary are in that gymnasium uh -huh. of North. And um, they all the parents came to pick us up. No one was getting bused home. Your parents had to pick us up. Right. So Will was on the other side, my older brother Will, because he's in the fifth grade at this point. He is hiding on the other side with all his friends, and we were all like, what's going on? And <laughs> Just being like little dirt turds. Yes, literally. So Will comes over, grabs my hand, because our dad came to pick us up. Mm -hmm. And then our dad on the way home was like, there was a bomb on your, <laughs> uh, on your playground. Oh and we my were god. Like, huh? <laughs> and then... I, no one ever finished a story for me. Like, I went years without knowing, but in fifth grade, one of the teachers was talking about it because it was a new security practice. There was firecrackers on the elementary school <laughs> playground. It was firecrackers. Just, just some, something so small. The police thought it was a bomb. How do you think a firecracker is a bomb? Because one of the teachers saw a student put the firecrackers on the uh, the playground and flipped out. They were like, there's a kid with a bomb and it was what? just crazy. And like freaking out. That teacher oh, doesn't work there anymore. She got yeah, fired probably. <laughs> for mental insta instability or whatever we call it. And so we ha we went on this like five hour lockdown <laughs> and had to go to North Intermediate over firecrackers. Do you know how pissed I would be if I was the police and I get there and it's like, okay, well, the bomb squad's here. Okay, we we'll get the playground cover. They like walk in there like, is that a fucking firecracker? The SWAT team. <laughs> they had the SWAT team go and make sure everything was okay. It was insane! And That's it was crazy. nothing but firecrackers and you could see them on the news. And I like yeah, how, how uh, this isn't, like, in today's time, this isn't a crazy story. This happens, like, literally all the time. I know. Yeah. This would have just been like, okay, go back to your normal duties right. because but, I... <laughs> but what's crazy about it from, like, just thinking about it in today's time, like, you didn't, like, have a lockdown. Like, there wasn't, like, any, like, protocols. It was like on the bus <laughs> everyone was like crying <laughs> yeah yeah well that's so true because you know columbine already happened when we were in school but school shootings weren't like massive yet it was like Columbine every day. was bad yeah but you know having bombs put on your like <laughs> bombs are a little like different that, that was you know so everyone was flipping out because i was also it was first grade 2001. yeah first grade when 9 11 happened and i remember being in class and my teacher Bawling. <laughs> so you go from kindergarten, to teacher bawling. First grade, teacher bawling. Girl, do you know how, like how much crazy memories I like? It's such a weird like emotion I have about like the actual day of nine eleven because we were like seven. 
Yeah. And all we cared about was getting out of school. Because I remember my mom picking me up and was like, school's canceled. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> For real. And then, and then like, so my mom, like, days later was like, yeah, they have like a plane at the building. And I was like, okay, but we got out of school. <laughs> <laughs> like, not understanding at all. <laughs> well, the only thing, because it upset me, because my dad is from New York. Mm. And I guess he had friends there. They're, and they're fine. But my dad used to live in New York. And so when that happened, like, that was, like, the end of the world for my dad. So <laughs> that was the very first time I saw my dad upset like that. Um, but all the teachers were bawling. But my first grade teacher put it on the TV. Oh, and my we God. Were sitting there as first graders watching, you know, people <laughs> jumping from the building. Yeah, I don't and think I had watched All those it. people falling. And it's just like. Oh. Yeah, that's a little scarring. Yeah, I don't and I don't think I had we seen anything go. until I was like maybe like much, much older. I just remember like getting to school, like sitting down, and then like my mom like coming in the door to like pick me up, be like, We're going home. <laughs> I was like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, because we we didn't know. Like right. obviously when I was in first grade, I didn't think that people were dying. I was just like, What's happening? Right. Why did they jump? What's yeah. Going on? <laughs> Is there a trampoline? You know, because obviously all his kids are confused, but, you know, the teacher's crying. Our teacher's name was Mrs. Kirstein. Ew. We weren't going to ask her anything because she was scary. So we were well, like, okay. the name, like, Kirstein. Girl, she's so, about to put a hex on you, like well, the, the she, hex girls from she Scooby-Doo. She was mean. She was in her 80s, teacher oh, first God. grade. She was so bad. That's disgusting. So I was like, you know what? You know what? Like, <laughs> we're not going to ask her any oh, questions. But I just, I distinctly remember that day, she was bawling her eyes out, going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, because we were in the prefabs, yeah. so it's our class and Mrs. Atkins' class. I remember this day, like, vividly. Yeah, it's funny, because I literally don't. The only thing I remember is getting out of school. <laughs> Girl, I remember it vividly. They were going back and forth, bawling their eyes out, making sure that we were okay, but they had it on the TV. But then parents started picking their kids up. Um, you know, there was nobody right. left at the end of the day. So, it was just, it was a crazy day. But obviously, as a kid that age, you're not going to know what's going oh, on. Oh, yeah. Complete ob- oblivious. Well, I think, on a much lighter note, we should completely change the topic from bombs and school shootings and 9-11. Memories, <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to a lighter topic. Let me look at my notes. Let's move on to a, a Jordan kissing a swing yeah. set. <laughs> Just, just a complete tonal shift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way. <laughs> by the way, at the same time, no, this is much like maybe like five years. I think I was maybe fourth or fifth grade. We had this kid named Jordan, um, and he was like kind of like a big goofball. I, like, I don't even know how to describe him. Like, he still is. Yeah, much like a, uh, I'm trying to like think of like a character that he reminds me of. Think of class clowns on TV. Yeah, I'm th- I'm thinking like um what's the kid from it? The Ben? Like the bigger kid who's always just like kind of dorky and like yeah. rah, rah, rah. that's like kind of what he reminds just me a of. Quirky little yeah, kid. just kind of quirky like dude. He would there was like a group of us on the swings and someone had been like, "Oh, hey, there's some lipstick just on the ground." And Jordan, like, jumps off the sewing set and grabs it. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's lipstick. And then proceeds to uncap it. And it's, like, me- like it's gross. It's gro- Like, it's been, sitting- <laughs> it's been sitting there for a while. It's gross and melted and disgusting. And then, like, he proceeds to, like, just put this random ground lipstick all over his lips. <laughs> like a professional. Like, he's just like, mm, no. Oh, my God. He's been a whore since day yeah. one. <laughs> and then... <laughs> goes over to the pole like of the swing set support and just like starts making out with it like full on making out with it you were telling the story you just said a kiss oh no he he was about he was like "Mm -hmm." getting hot and heavy like there there was like a lipstick stain on the pole i don't it's obviously probably it's not still there but i mean it i remember it being there for days in days because people knew he did it and he got into trouble for Jesus. it but no one knew where it was except for everyone that was on the swing set <laughs> just just he got that thing pregnant yeah he like full on knocked up that swing set he pulled out like little uh, seesaws out of that girl <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no, the only, literally, the only other thing I can remember from elementary school was just, do y'all remember the random kid 
in like the math portion of the class. It's after lunch. Okay? <laughs> We're taking a math test. All of a sudden, you're oh, and they barf everywhere. This is like third grade, and we came back from lunch, and we used to have these things called. Um, God, I can't remember what they're called, but it's like a times table, and you're timed. So you do all the multiplication on one side, and you do division on the other. And oh, you have yeah, to like get a little it. times table. Yeah, this is the 100 question thing. Yes, yeah, and yeah. then you do it in 10 minutes, then 9, then 8, and you're trying yeah. to get it down to one minute. And then if you get the impossible. one minute, then you get the McDonald's pizza party. Literally, the McDonald's <laughs> yes, pizza party. Yes, yes. It was always something that didn't exist. <laughs> oh, my God, which, by the way, McDonald's in Orlando sells pizza. What? Random story. It's real? Okay, but anyway. <laughs> So, um, we were doing one of those, and I was really smart at math, um, duh, and I was down <laughs> to four minutes. I got it down to four minutes. Uh -huh. So, I don't know if she just didn't feel good, if it was just <laughs> random, or if she felt pressure. But the ten <laughs> minutes start, and then everything's going great, and I hear five minutes, and it's almost my time to start, and then you just hear, <laughs> it's all over her desk, <laughs> because we were in desks of four. We were in groups of four. I'm right here. She's right here. You just see all the kids oh, jump God. off the table. All three of these kids go, like, <laughs> this one's over here gagging because she can't handle seeing barf. These two <laughs> are laughing. And then this girl is still throwing up on her table. And we're like, Mrs. Troba, um, <laughs> Lillian barfed. And Mrs. Troba goes, I heard. So I everyone, heard. get up. Go to the corner of the room and please look away. So look away, like what well, is because she... all of us are so like, oh, you know, because we saw the barf. So we're like standing in the corner. Some of us are laughing because I thought barf was funny. Oh yeah, barf's hilarious. So these these three kids, their work was ruined. Their bags <laughs> had barf on them. Like everything they had was ruined. They should just be like, I was done. I got them all right. Can I still get the like A for it? It was so <laughs> bad. I remember it was really bad. But, um, <laughs> so it's I just so I remember Mrs. Funny. Trouble was like, I will be right back. I'm gonna take her to the nurse. If I hear from Mrs. Green that any of you talked, walked, or looked at the barf, you will be punished. <laughs> what? And so we were standing what does there that looking mean? we were looking at the wall literally for ten minutes just what? in <laughs> silence. Because Mrs. Green was what? Mrs. Green was mean, and she was going to take it out on us if we did anything wrong. So oh, we sat God. there in silence and stared at the wall. <laughs> That's crazy. And so it started smelling really bad, and some of the girls were like, this is green, I don't feel good. And she was like, all right, we're going to go outside. She took us outside. It took them an hour to clean up that bar God. because they had to do the wood chips. So did they expect you to stay in there for an hour looking at the wall? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Miss Green took us out, and then we got to have an early recess. We played for a little bit, came back, everything was cleaned up. But, you know, everyone's like, I don't want to sit there. Those, right. those kids I wouldn't like, want to sit there. there either. And so, we, uh, Mrs. Trouble was like, sit down. We have to retake the math test. And we're oh. all just like, okay. I could do it. I would have thrown up just from, like, having to sit down where someone barfed. I was lucky. I, I was far away from it. I, it's funny because I don't think barf is gross. But I think, like. As soon as I smell it, I'm like. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't care to look at it. I think it's hilarious when people do it. I mean, you're talking about the barf queen, girl. I barf all the time. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I know. Multiple times. <laughs> yeah, that's on part two. <laughs> um. But it the fact that the smell doesn't always bother me. It's if it sometimes it does. But it's the fact that like if you ever have to touch it, clean it up, or like sit where it was like immediately at. Like if I was like if somebody cleaned it up and I sat down like five minutes later, I would I might get sick and throw up from that. You shouldn't do that though because the bacteria is still there. And, like oh I know I, 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 I know I'm just saying like in that situation like where like you go out and play and then clean it up and then you come back <laughs> and sit back down just knowing it was there and like maybe an hour ago probably would have made me throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I just I remember she came back and we just bullied the crap out of her. We were like you're so lame, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> like just, it was awful. The next time she's just like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> like does it right in her face <laughs> projectile. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever had anyone throw up. There was definitely a lot of injuries. Um, but I don't think anyone ever, like, threw up in a weird way. Or, like, in class or anything. It's just <gasps> randomly oh barfed my God. The I'm sorry. I do remember one thing that was absolutely vile and disgusting. Um, oh, no. I can't remember this guy's name. I never, uh, ever, ever, ever went to after-school care. Um 
because my mom worked there. I've heard the story. <laughs> you know where you know where this is going, yep, right? Yeah. <laughs> I never went to after school care because my mom worked there, and I, I can't remember what happened. She had like a meeting, or there was something going on where she couldn't. I couldn't stay in the. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm done. Where I couldn't stay in her classroom, so I went to after school care, and I think I was maybe in third grade. And there's this kid named Ryan, and he was weird. And I don't mean, like, Jordan weird. Like, he was just full-on okay. weird. But Jordan wasn't weird. No, I'm... He just did a weird thing. Right. No, when I, when I talk about Jordan being, like, dorky and goofy, like, he, it was, like, in an endearing way. Ryan was just a weirdo. Like, just a weird, strange little boy. Ten minutes after I get into after-school care, I see the uh, attendant, whoever was doing it, like run out of the little in classroom bathroom that they had <gasps> oh, no. and like go over to Ryan. And there was like some commotion and it turns out like he like leaves the classroom with her. And like, there was like this big scene. I have no idea what's going on. There's yelling and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Like children are like like it's like a full scene. Like children are screaming. And I was like, I don't I'm like sitting in the corner, like, what is going on? Just like watching from a distance. People are running. It turns out he I guess couldn't go to the bathroom in the toilet. I don't know if there was someone in the bathroom or if he just couldn't do it. Or I don't I don't know the like circumstance. But instead of going in the toilet, he took a shit in his backpack. In his backpack. I remember you telling me this. <laughs> in his backpack. It was disgusting, and that was my one and only experience with after school care. Horrifying scenario. <laughs> I did after school care every day in middle school. And no one and no one pooped in their backpack? <laughs> no, but okay. We're not gonna name names, but Oh yes. Hated his guts. He was so Full of himself because he knew he was babied by all the teachers. Yes. And everyone liked him for some reason. <laughs> We're going to cut this part. <laughs> he was just so flippin' mean. He was an asshole. He was so mean. And I was like... I didn't like him either. I sat at a table he wanted to sit at. And he was just like, that's actually for me and my friends. I was like, cool. Now get the fuck away from me, yeah. like football. <laughs> like... I sat here first. You were over there flirting with all your little girlfriends. Right. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Come me out of the club. Like, I swear. <laughs> that, that middle school, that is where shit got real because I transferred from Broken Arrow to Lincoln. And that's when I first met your hoe ass. But. I was a hoe ass. I just should, should not have gone halfway through the year. Yeah, that yeah. was. <laughs> yeah, that was. Freaking a mistake. little child <laughs> comes up to me and tells me that. And I was like, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you really want to go with me right now? Because I'm not happy. I will literally hurt you right now. I can punt you across this room. I was a public school kid. You know that? <laughs> I was just... It's funny. He, that, was, that was my first memory of how awful people can be even at private school. Because Lincoln was nothing special. Like, especially no, when I was... moved. It was literally the same thing, but with preppy rich kids. Yes. <laughs> Sheltered like, rich kids. <laughs> is awful. I'm glad that I, I went, though, because I met you, I met Nathan, you know, I made a lot of really good friends. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> but the amount of shit that all of us went through, and we thought it oh, was yeah. normal. No, there were some scarring moments that we'll talk about in part two, for sure. We thought it was sure. normal, and I was like, oh my god, this was just middle school when I first came oh, to yeah. Lincoln. Yeah, there was some definite scarring that went, went down that we'll have to discuss in part two or three. You have no middle school stories? Oh, well, I not, I don't have any, like, specific, like, bad middle school stories. But we'll save, like, the Lincoln middle school stories for part two. Because yeah. this is, like, the before Lincoln for you. But those are the only two memories I have oh. of elementary. Oh, because well, literally, no, literally, at Broken Arrow, I just went with the motions. Like, I, nothing really funny happened because all my friends were boring as hell. Then, like, most of them I'm not even friends with anymore. They just kind of died. Oh, well, that's that's upsetting. <laughs> oh, okay, Kenny actually died, but he was like a meth head. Well, I mean, his name's Kenny. If that's really... Just... Oh, my God, please. <laughs> uh, well, if you don't have any, I have one, two, three, four, five, seven or eight more stories I could tell about elementary school. Let's hear them, girl. So I know what we talked about before I was getting into the Ryan pooping in his backpack story. I was going to mention how there wasn't a lot of vomit... <laughs> 
but there was a lot of injuries. And <laughs> there was one person in particular that got injured all the time. That's like, right. literally all the time. His name was Cody. And I had, I had two friends named Cody. Uh, this one was Cody T. <laughs> Ew. Cody. Uh, we called him... I'm I just, want Snickers. Yes, that's a, a pretty good one, too. That's the only memory of... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to like really leave these like, Yo, like I'm not good at this game. <laughs> um so Cody was just accident prone all the time. And I think the Jordan wasn't weird. Sorry. What are you doing? Are you taking Snapchats in the middle of this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like to I okay. Just a little break from the norm here, the funny little podcast. I just like having memories on my phone. Oh my god. Because you can save you can save them. On your phone. You it's can. just fun. I get it. Because when I'm at home, I'm just like... Oh. <laughs> and sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, I oh have God, fun. These memories. These fun little memories. Tell your story, girl. I'm here for Co Co Corey T. <laughs> Corey T. Booker, yes. Um, I'll finish. I'll let, I'll let you finish your little... Stop just... it. I'm done. I'm just listening. I'm listening to you. Well, you're listening to me twice. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what is your attention span that you can't even be like <laughs> present in this car? You're listening to a conversation I we had can five do minutes two ago. <laughs> things at once. You can you listen to me twice. <laughs> anyway, so Cody is accident prone to crap. And one of the first memories of him getting hurt that I have was um, we had all gone to his house. He had a pretty big house. And I think it was his birthday party. And it was me, Cody, Tim, Ben, a couple uh, of the group. Uh, yeah, like the the before group. This the the core. What would the Seven Up group is what we used to. You're lying. You called yourself the Seven Up. Yeah, group? because we had seven people before you. The seven Up guys. Yeah, before before I came and ruined everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was me, Cody, uh, Ben, Tim, uh, Jordan. Um, the other Cody, and oh, there's one more. Seth. Seth. Yes. I almost forget about Seth because no one knows where he is. Dead. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Overseas. Who knows? But there was one time that we went to Cody's house for a birthday party, and he wanted to have an airsoft fight. So <laughs> we're like, okay, let's do it. So we're like, you know, we all have like our little like handguns and we're shooting each other with airsoft and you know, things are fine. And at one point, um, me and Cody are on separate teams and he's coming around the side of his house and I know he's coming that way. So like, I'm like geared up to like shoot him from pretty far back, like probably like at least 20, <laughs> 30 feet, like not like close at all. But, like I'm getting ready to shoot him. And like, as soon as he comes around the corner, I just like take one shot and it goes right in the side of his face. And I just hear him go, Oh, and, like duck around the corner. And then he, he comes back around the corner, like 10 seconds later. And there is blood gushing from his ear. I had hit him directly in, in the, the ear. No, I hit him right in the ear. So his, I guess I like hit his eardrum or something. I don't know how oh I. Oh my God. Girl, girl, I don't know how I perfectly hit him in the, in the ear. Eardrum. In the, but his ear was bleeding. I don't know how else the, how your ear bleeds. I guess maybe if, like, if it just hit a spot hard enough, it. Could you imagine he went deaf? <laughs> After that, he lost his hearing. I could. Now in Cody, I can totally imagine it. He ends up like a cripple. He's like deaf. Dumb and lame all at the same time at oh, the end of senior year. It's like, what happened to you, Cole Maria? Yes. <laughs> but that wasn't so that that's just like a setup for Cody. Like he can just be in a normal situation and things go wrong. <laughs> so like there's another time in um I think maybe fourth or fifth grade, we were all playing tag on the playground and we have like a really big slide that you can go up. It's like more, I don't know how to describe it. Like it's like four slides connected to oh, each other. Oh, the swirly slide. No, it's a swirly slide, but I'm, I'm trying to think of like the really contraption. Tall, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue one. But no, 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 it was the red one. It was the red one. Okay. But to get up there, there's like stairs. Like, I mean, it's like there's a small slide, there's like a medium slide, there's like two, like. Oh. 
slides in like an enclosed one. And then at the very, very top, there's a big curly red slide. It has like four loops. So it's like really big slide. Yes. And we were all playing tag. And I remember... <laughs> I can't get through the story. <laughs> I remember Tim was it. And me and Cody were on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really struggling. I went first. I went down the slide first. Cody was behind me, and Tim was coming up um, f- b- behind Cody to tag us. And I go down the slide. I'm like, all right, let's get out of here. And I'm the one that said the Walmart bag. <laughs> because I, like, I'm, like, halfway down the slide, and I just see, like, st- some white thing all <laughs> 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 past me. <laughs> Just like some white thing. I was like, oh, that's like a bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get to the bottom and <laughs> Cody <laughs> has beat me to the bottom. <laughs> and he is like spread eagle, just like on the ground. <laughs> just like at the end of the slide. Like I get to the slide and I'm like, I'm like in Cody's face. Like Cody's face is like at the end of the slide. I'm like. Are you okay? <laughs> well, I, I was just confused. I was like, how did. How did he get here? He was right up there. <laughs> oh my um, God. That it, white plastic bag. Was yeah, that it? It, it, oh, it was like, it wasn't a white plastic bag. It was Cody's white <laughs> shirt. <laughs> and then like, as soon as like, I'm trying to like collect myself and figure out like what just happened. Tim like starts to come like down the slide. And I like look over and I hear Kendall, like just like the biggest goob, like buck teeth. Yes, like, <laughs> I remember him. Yep. Like from across the playground, go like, Mrs. Wilson, Cody fell off the slide. <laughs> and Mrs. Uh, Wilson, like, yes, the Mrs. The Wilson, Mrs. Wilson that, oh. we'll, that we'll have to talk about in the oh. next episode. <laughs> the next episode of School Story is Miss Wilson will make a return. <laughs> oh, God. But she was also my elementary school teacher. That's but so she, weird. But she, it made more sense in elementary school because it was elementary school and you can be zany and weird as a teacher. That was so weird. I didn't know she did that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, she was there. <laughs> uh, so she came over and Cody was like, I thought Cody was dead. Like I, He was I, like asleep on the ground. I honestly, like that's the first time I've ever looked at someone and been like, I think that person is dead. Like I, cause like you he changed on that. And I was <laughs> like, it's a core memory in my mind. Cause I'm like looking at him like he's not moving. His eyes are like freaking out. <laughs> like they're just white. Like just oh white. Oh my God. And I'm like, Cody's Cody's dead. Like he's gone. Like he hit his head. He's done. <laughs> because I guess like on the way down. I need my mom. Because yeah. <laughs> I guess on the way down, when I saw the plastic bag, he had hit his head on the su- on the slide, oh, like God. right next to me. I don't know how I didn't hear it, but like he hit his head on the slide. I think maybe because I was going down the slide really fast, and I just like assumed like all the bumps were me going down the slide really fast. So, like, oh, he God. hit his head on the slide and did, like, two, like, front flips and then landed on his head on the ground. What a circus trick. Girl. Wow. <laughs> I thought Cody was dead and gone. And then, like, finally someone, like, drags him away and, like, like. Like but, Hunger Games yeah, fashion. Like, he, he, for real. No. For real. I was like, I think Cody just died. And, and then two teachers just drug him away. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> And I didn't, like, there was, like, a crowd of people, like, around him, like, once he got drug away. And, like, finally he, like, gets up and, like, goes. And, like, I didn't see him for, like, he four walked. days. Yeah. Yeah, yes, he walked. <laughs> it was a whole thing. But that's not the first time Cody <laughs> I said it, too. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the first time uh, Cody got a concussion. There's He's done it multiple times. I, I, I know there was a third one, but I can't remember the third one. But I remember the second one. What was the second? The one? second one was in sixth grade. We had we were going on a science field trip with my mom. And Good lord! Yeah, <laughs> I can't remember where it was at. Oh my god! It was like some type of like, um, you know where we went in with Mister Bell's class? It was like that. Oh, the the swamp. The swamp. We it wasn't the swamp but it was something really similar to that where you go and like you do all these experiments we went to nsu it was nsu right correct no no it was rogers it was rogers yeah yeah rogers something i think it might have been at a college uh, campus yeah that... because when we went it was a college campus yeah yeah but this one that happened with cody i think was also at a college um 
and we were like, we had like a break or like we were breaking up into groups. There was like some like scavenger hunt thing we were doing. Oh totally, totally not science related. And we had like just finished it. And we were like all still broken out in our groups. And I wasn't in a group with Cody, but where my group was having a break, I could see Cody's group um, in the distance. And my mom was in Cody's group. Like she was like the chaperone of Cody's group. Um, and I look over at one point and I see Cody start to climb this tree <laughs> and it's not a big tree. Like it's maybe like 10 feet tall at the most. Oh God. And he gets up maybe a branch and a half and like, oh. yeah, the branch breaks and he falls backwards on his head and gets another concussion. Oh, like the same, out? yeah, same story <laughs> passed out, like eyes, like totally white, like what just idiot. Yeah. Like, and there was a third one that happened with Cody that I can't remember. Was I there for the third one? I don't think so. Okay. I think that one was like, a, like it, elementary. Yeah, that was, it was elementary, but I think it happened like outside of school. Like it was like, uh, okay. but yeah, he's, accident prone like he's gotten three concussions so he's funny. yeah <laughs> that's why he was so freaking stupid yeah he has three strikes i don't know how he's not out two strikes out yeah, I, don't, I don't know how he's not <laughs> <laughs> um but there was also someone else that fell off of the playground equipment at lincoln that i don't know if you know about do you you remember no, michaela I you remember Michaela, right? yes yes so michaela kind of in elementary school kind of bigger girl you know i'm not trying to be mean but just like bigger, you know, elementary is a weird time. Everyone's like, everyone's well, chunky. In yeah. Elementary. So she's like a pretty sizable girl and she has her own. I, I mean, we maybe talked like 10 words to each other, like the entire school that we, that's a, what girl. I just remember her being a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I first met her. So girl, I just like lost my train of thought. And then like, you were just like, can she go back? She was. She, yeah, she kind of was. Um, but there was one point where she was playing some game or, oh, no, no, no. There was one point where I think it was like Madison and like Haley and like uh, other like girls in elementary school. They were like climbing over kind of like where Cody fell off. There was like some railing and they found a part where it wasn't as high so they could climb over the railing and like jump off onto the ground and be okay. <laughs> And it, but it was still like 10 feet in the air. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear that. <laughs> and so like Haley does it. Maddie does it. Like all these girls are doing it. And like I'm watching from like the other side of. You're just sitting here eating popcorn. Well, like, pretty much. Like well. I'm like on like the, the monkey bars like watching like what are they doing? And I finally see uh, Michaela get she gets over the other side of the bars and then she gets scared she gets scared to jump and she loses her balance <laughs> but she's still holding onto the bars so <laughs> i mean when i say this is like an action movie like where like there's like a character that's about to die like dangling from a cliff and like the main characters are like just like grabbing onto them like that's the situation grabbing onto her like, the yeah <laughs> like maddie and Haley are like grabbing all like don't let go oh my god don't let go and she's like dangling for her life she's dangling like 10 feet in the air she's dangling like 10 feet in the air oh my god I can only imagine how this ends <laughs> well she's a bigger girl and Maddie and Haley are both like these little like 50 pound skinny girls like they're like Three feet tall. They're oh. not going to be able to support Michaela. Oh my god! <laughs> Screaming at her like it's like freaking Titanic. <laughs> Jack, don't let go. And eventually, like they can't hold her anymore, and she lets go. And sh I mean, she like falls back, like on she her back. On her back. She <laughs> <laughs> on her back. Oh. <laughs> She oh. falls 10 feet and you just hear her like scream, like blood curdling scream. But she fell. Yeah, but it was like, it's t 10 feet, so it was like maybe two seconds. She's just like, ah! <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh my god. And then you just hear like a boom. <laughs> and you see like all the, uh, <laughs> The plant, what is it, that's not the turf, what is it called? Like the cedar wood. The like, wood chips. The wood chip. You see all the wood chips just like go full line everywhere. <laughs> and then, oh my god. 
<laughs> and then I finally got the monkey bars, and I was like maybe the third person <laughs> to like come over and look. And she is like splayed <laughs> out, just splayed out. Oh no! And like it's like almost a crater. Like there's no wood chips <laughs> left around her. Like they're all gone. <laughs> just like oh my gosh, she hit. She hit hard. <laughs> Like Cody might have fell on his head, but like there wasn't like a like a splatter impact. Like, she was like a damn comet. Yeah, <laughs> scream would have gotten me. That is so funny. It was so good. So I think those are all like the. She didn't wake back up. No, she did. She actually. I don't think she had a concussion. I think she just hurt herself. But it was so funny to watch. Um, I think those are all the accident like playground injury stories I have. There are other I'm gonna pee my pants. I'm gonna try and like rapid fire some of the rest of these. So I got rid of those two, got rid of Cody falling off of everything. Oh, I have three more. I think I can get through three more. Girl, I gotta pee. I'll go pee. Girl, okay. go pee. We'll, Don't we'll tell take a little break. Anyone. Well, are you uh, gonna take a break break? Yeah. I'm not gonna like tell a story Girl. while you're gone. That would have been so funny to watch. It was so good. It so we could relive it. Oh, girl, do you know? I wish we had phones back then. Oh. Okay, so I have I have three more pretty good stories to tell. Good. Um, Ugh. I think I'm gonna take a break from the playground incident. I'm gonna jump back over to like just normal school day, like day to day. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell the story of Grant. He was do it. just the, Grant was like no, I don't think anyone liked Grant. He, like, tried to be, like, this big, tough guy as, like, a 3-2, like, skinny guy. <laughs> um, a 3-2? Three, three feet tall. Well, we were, like, six. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Give yourself some credit. Four feet. Yeah, I guess. Um, but he, like, tried to be, like, the school bully of the private school. Like, he was, like, he'd, like, pick on everybody, and, like, no one liked him. I don't know why he thought he was hot shit. Um <laughs> It, I, like very obvious why he got expelled because duh girl I remember him when he was in middle school trust me yeah no one liked him like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trust me um but there was one time where Grant thought he could pick on me like he picks on everyone else and I was raised to always uh stand up for yourself so my mom mm. always my mom always told me that um if someone's picking on you, you are more than willing to fight back, do whatever you need to to stop them from picking on you, um, and you won't get in trouble. But if you lose or like they keep picking on you after that, then you'll get in trouble because you didn't finish it. So I was always I always finished my fights at school. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> um, but I always did it in a sneaky way because I didn't want to get in trouble at school either. So I always did it in a way to like it was an accident. But Grant knew. It wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Grant and I both knew it wasn't any accident. But the teacher, see, sweet little innocent old cold, wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm like, oh, oh it, he, it probably was just an accident. There was one time in computer class where he kept like kicking my chair, and we were sitting like right next to each other, and he was like kicking the side of my chair, and I was like, I can't do anything about it. He's whatever. I'm just playing Mavis Beacon. Let me do my typing. Ew, <laughs> Mavis Beacon. He's like, let me do my typing, please. Um, and at one point, he gets up. To, I don't know what he was doing. He was getting up to get something, and right before he sits back down, like I'm like sitting back in my chair. And right before he sits back down, I, I reach over and just like yank his chair to where he like falls on his ass <laughs> and then like very quickly like let go and then i'm just like oh my god what happened <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is a you yeah right girl i was i i mean you know what happened yeah i know <laughs> you know what happened with brandon like it's the same thing <laughs> yeah it's the same thing <laughs> that's so funny um so when he did it a second time it was in my mom's class of all things i don't know how he thought he was going to get away with it um and he, again he was sitting next to me and he i don't remember what he was doing he was either kicking me again or he was like poking me or like punching me in the side or something and we had these like big long desk it wasn't like just like you know individual desk it was like like a table it was yes a table it was like so there was like two or three people sitting at a table at the same time and i was sitting at the end of the table and then Grant was sitting on the other table that was, wasn't connected. So there's like a little divider in between the tables and he has a, maybe an inch gap between the tables and he has his hand sitting in between that little gap between the tables. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> so he's like continues to punch and mess with me. I'm like, Grant, stop. And he doesn't stop. So I'm like, okay. So I like just grab the bottom of the table and I just like slam it into his hand as hard as I could. And he screams so loud and pulls his hand out. I was like, oh God. Oh my God. And I'm like, oh my, again, I'm like, oh my God, that's so crazy. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. Like, and my mom, like, obviously knows what's going on. She's like, oh my God, Grant, are you okay? I was like, oh, that's such an accident. Like my mom, like also doing the same stick. <laughs> so, uh, so you got lucky with your mom being in that classroom. Oh, well, I think it, even if it would have been another teacher, it would have been the same situation. Cause it would have been like, oh, sweet innocent old Cole would have never hurt anybody. And just, you know, like, must've been an accident or Grant. You're private that, school yeah. kids. I know. <laughs> it's like, I, I very was, I was very manipulative in high school and I don't think people really realize that. You were. I know. You were a little shithead. <laughs> I know I was. <laughs> I think that's how we stayed friends for so long. Like, I know. <laughs> we're the same person. Uh, and so th that was a whole like side tangent. I just had that on the list of things to talk about that I just wanted to make but sure. He was a jackass anyway. Oh yeah, like I, I said, no so one long. liked him. No one liked him. But when and this is a middle school story, so it still fits with this podcast. But literally, it was the day I moved or transferred over. He was starting to pick fights with me, and like it's like you know in prison you like fight the big bitch and like you know right. Sucks. I was like, why the hell are you coming after me? Right. <laughs> like. What did I ever do? I think it's because no one, literally, like, I don't think anyone liked him. Because he was bullying everybody. But see, <laughs> I remember, because Nathan transferred the week before me. Mm -hmm. He was picking on Nathan, and Nathan let him, you know, get to him. Oh. I, I sat there and watched, and I would go home and be like, this kid Grant is like a total jackass. I thought Christian kids were supposed to be nice and blah, blah, blah. Not, my not, parents were like, no. No, not Grant. No, Grant was an asshole. I don't, he got expelled for something. I wish I remember what it was. but He was probably fighting or something like that. Oh, probably. Oh, 100%. The easiest, smallest thing back 100%. Then. Now it's like you can have an affair with like one of your teachers as a 17-year-old. Oh, yeah. Be yeah, we get. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's crazy how it was strict for like the first four years I was there. And then just randomly our senior year, it was like, okay. Yeah, well, it's because you, it's because you showed up. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this public school kid came in, and we got to make sure well, he's... He's scary, so we yeah. got to make sure he's comfortable. <laughs> right. So the Eraser Olympics. Let's talk about the Let's Eraser Olympics. the Eraser Olympics, girl. Girl, so... Uh, I still can't believe that's a freaking thing. Oh, <laughs> it's a thing. We got people invested. So me and um, the other Cody, who... Um, I don't think he he would care. I'm just gonna call him Stanton. That was that was always okay. the nick, that was that was always the nickname for Cody was Stanton. Um, and w I don't remember what started it, but me and Stanton were always messing with erasers, and we started like drawing faces on erasers, and eventually we started like collecting them. Like we literally went to Hobby Lobby and got like like a jewelry box like with dividers and like had like them color coded and we're like collecting different erasers <laughs> oh like God. crazy people and eventually like people knew about it and like they also started doing it and uh, it was weird so there was like four or five people there was like maybe five ish people that like started collecting erasers not as crazy as me and stanton but like they had like you know a handful of them <laughs> oh my God. and <laughs> so there was at one point at lunch, me and Stanton are like, dude, let's have an eraser Olympics. Like everyone has these erasers. Like let's, let's make them like match up against each other. And like, let's see like which one is the best eraser. And girl, <laughs> it's, girl it's, so dumb. it's so dumb. It's so dumb. So we made flyers. Like we like, like handmade flyers. I might still have one. It's somewhere in, girl, in one of my drawers. School kids are fucking weird. Yeah, we. Oh. So we just got construction paper and like started drawing like little erasers on them, and we're like, Eraser Olympics, October second on the playground. <laughs> And like we put oh. them, we put them in everyone's lockers and like all over the school. So like people like knew about it. And like it, when we it finally came to the day of the actual Eraser Olympics, we had no idea what we were gonna do. No clue. No clue. We had like four or five people that said they were gonna do something, and we had no idea what we were gonna do. But there was like a crowd of like no. thirty people. Ah ready to watch whatever this eraser Olympic spectacle was going to be. And it just ended up being like, <laughs> we can throw it the first yeah, yes, it was so pathetic. It was like, 
Who can flick it the furthest? Who can throw it the furthest? Uh, if you drop it, like, where will it, will it land close to this target? And then we, like, had a piece of paper. And it was like, well, it, who's close? And then my kid was like, remember when I fell? This is more fun. <laughs> <laughs> But people were, but it was like a thing in elementary. Like people were cheering, like they had teams. I think um, it was either me or Stanton that won. I think it was, I think it was Stanton. But we like. Do you know who else competed? I think it was maybe Tim and Ben, and there's one other, maybe Jordan. There's one other person I can't remember. Um, but they had like little crappy racers. We had like. You, you know. had the full Yeah, thick yeah. Voice. We knew what we were doing. Like we were prepared. You had the whole jewelry box. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had something to pick from. We were like pick, we were like pulling them out, picking our favorites, like throwing and they them had like the little jewels shaped ones oh, yeah. on the top of your Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's race car ones, there's like alien ones. There Good is God, this is crazy. a real thing. It's like a dollhouse too, like I had collections of like toys for them. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing. You sad child. But we pooled me and Cody like pulled together to buy like a like a one dollar trophy. So I think I gave the trophy to Stanton because he won. Yeah. Um so that was a thing that happened in elementary school. We had an eraser Olympics. But Girl. but that's not the weirdest thing that we did. We had um so in recess, right? I don't know what they did with public school, but we always had like a ball bucket. So we would always bring a bucket out to the playground for recess that had like basketballs and soccer balls and just, you know, kickballs, just different type of no, balls. No, we had to ask Miss Wofford for the ball. <laughs> she was the janitor and she would give Ew. it to you. <laughs> Mrs. Wofford was really sweet though. No, so we would always like just bring out the ball bucket and it just so happened that there was one basketball that was like a little baby basketball. Like and Everyone wanted it. Everyone wanted it. But me... This was like early elementary too. This was before the Eraser Olympics. This is before I was alive. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was me, Stanton, and we had two other friends at the time, Casey and Jesse, who were twins. Okay. Um, and we all loved this basketball. So like anytime like we went to recess, we would always like make sure to get this basketball and make sure that um, we had it <laughs> oh, before anyone else could get to it. And at one point... Oh my god! I just remembered. Like I'm the catalyst for all of this. This is all my fault. This Girl. is this is a confession at this point. Let's hear it. Talking about, talking about me being manipulative earlier. Like it's it started early. <laughs> but now it's like really bad. Yeah. Now it <laughs> now it's like a full blown psychopath liar. Um, <laughs> is that how you reel Dale in? Is that what? It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, at one point, like I enjoy. What are you doing? I moved it. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. At one point, like, I enjoyed this ball so much that I'm like, I'm going to take it. You brought it home with you. I brought it home with me because my mom worked there. So after school, I one day I just walked out of my mom's room and went to the gym and I just straight up stole it. And we had, we I forgot we had named it. It's named you it. You I know. And we named it Jeffrey. So I was like, oh, oh. I'm going to take Jeffrey home with me. I remember you telling me this story. <laughs> There's something that just triggered. <laughs> and I remember this. Yeah. This is little red basketball named Jeffrey that we all loved. And I think now that I'm remembering back, I think it was the end of the year. I don't think it was just like a random Tuesday. I think it was the end of the year. And I wanted to make sure that like he went home with you. Yeah, I was like, I want to make so you have a good summer. Right. I was like, I want to make sure like nothing happens to him during the summer. So I'm taking Jeffrey home with me. And Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and th the next year goes comes around. And the first week or two were there. I think I'd like completely forgot about Jeffrey at this time. Of course you didn't. <laughs> he, he was like just in my backyard, just hanging out somewhere. Um, and Cody, uh, excuse me. Uh, Stanton comes up. Yeah. <laughs> Stanton comes up and is like, where's Jeffrey? Like, we don't know where Jeffrey is. Like, and they remember Jeffrey. Yeah. They're like, Casey and Jesse are like looking for Jeffrey and we can't find him. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Look, like I, at this point, like totally forgot that I. You selfish little ass hat. I know. <laughs> well, no, no. At this point, like I had totally forgot that I took him home. I was like, oh my God. Like we should make flyers. And <laughs> so we made and Stanton was like oh that's a good idea so like during um, class one day 
like all of us made like 50 like lost like you see like a lost puppy poster that's like oh missing oh you know Kristen you know yeah Yorkie Schnauzer like whatever Take this number and call me if you find it right so we literally did that with a basketball so we like made like little drawings of like a red and black basketball um, and it was like missing Jeffrey red and black basketball reward two dollars. <laughs> you were the quirky kids in school. Oh yeah, you were the quirky like and, stay away from them and kids. When we were making the flyers, I had remembered. Oh my god, I took them home. Like I, I have them, but at this point, like we already made flyers. You felt guilty, so I, you're like, I can't do this. I did, so I was like, I can't say anything. We already made all these flyers. It's like, we, we're going to have to, I can't say anything. Like he just, he's never going to show gone. up. He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> but I had him for a long time. And I think he finally like faded or popped or got kicked out. Of, I don't know. Oh my God. He died. Snickers ate him. Someone ate him. Something <laughs> happened, but I had him all through elementary school. He was and whenever Stanton or like Casey and Jesse came over, I would have to hide him. Because this is so stupid. But, uh, yeah. Like, oh, it's the dumbest story. We could, you could have solved this problem on day one. Oh yeah. Oh, hundred percent. A hundred percent. But I couldn't let my pride like go. Like I can't be like, I can't own up to it. Cause like it's all these lies have built up already. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure that no one knows that I have Jeffrey. I was the one that took him. <laughs> this is so wrong. Oh my god, and this is why you turned out to be the way yeah, you are. Yeah, this is why the, I'm the way I am, because I took a, I took Jeffrey when we were young. Oh my god, I bet your therapist have a field day with you. <laughs> Girl, I never talked about that with my therapist. I bet he'd be like, that's the link, that's what went wrong. I knew it. Yeah. I had a premonition the other day that you took something, maybe like why a... your therapist having premonitions? I don't know. Is, I... is this a psychic too? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm, this is, like I said, it's a uh, confession that I took Jeffrey. So well, if Stanton or Casey and Jesse ever stumble across this, I'm the one who took him. You made those flyers for no reason. And Jeffrey ain't okay. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, he died. But he lived a good life. He lived all, I know he lived. He lived in your backyard. Yeah, but I played with him. What kind of happy life is that? I played with him. But you probably left him out at night, didn't you? Yeah, that's why he faded. Yeah, exactly. What yeah, kind of his, happy life is that? His red color faded. He was just a black and white ball at the end of it. Mm, mm -mm. Like I said, your therapist is going to have a I th long I, day about I think one of my cousins, like, stole Ate it. Probably. Either stole it or, like, kicked it or threw it over the fence or something, and it was lost forever. So wrong. And, so yeah. sad. So Jeffrey didn't have, like, a burial or anything. He well, just. Well, he had an ugly name, too, so. Yeah, well. Yeah, so he kind of deserved it. So. That's our school stories. We went from, you know, bombing, uh, 9 11, 9 -11 <laughs> uh, kissing swing sets, vomit. Fall, vomit, falling off of, you know, Fat different things. Uh, and then we're ending where we started with Jeffrey. You started with Jeffrey? I said something at the very beginning like, oh, uh, Jeffrey, I took a basketball home or whatever. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. And I got to pee in the middle of this too. And he did, Chris did get to pee. So. And I think the next one we're going to be talking about are high school. High school. When you really started. <laughs> when things went wrong. Yeah, because they did. For real. But this is like when we knew each other. High school bitches. Get ready, because it, it, it gets bad. This is for the hormones. It gets in. bad. 